It was 6.59 a.m., and police were dispatched to 3204 Washington Avenue. Two minutes later, paramedics arrived at the home and began to stabilize the victim. Upon arrival, police noted that the victim had been shot four times. One bullet appeared to have severed the victim's spinal cord through the neck. The other three shots had gone through the jaw, right collarbone, and upper right arm. At 7.40 a.m., detectives were sent to the home and continued to take witness accounts and were able to determine a prime suspect. Meanwhile, an ambulance carrying the victim arrived at St. Mary's Medical Center, where the victim was placed under critical condition. Police arrived at the accused suspect's home at 2425 South Norman Avenue and waited for other officers to arrive. By 8 a.m., it was announced that the former Mayor Russell G. Lloyd Sr. had been shot in his home. Russell G. Lloyd was a remarkable and very memorable mayor of Evansville. He served an eight-year term that started in 1972 and ended in 1980. I'll never forget that morning. Um, it was just scary because, you know, Republicans hadn't been running in very many of the, of the events up to this point, and, and I was in the kitchen. I, can, I know exactly where I was. And the phone rang, and Russ said, I'm going to run. In his first year in office, he completed the relocation of State Highway 41, a project that was started by the previous Democratic administration. A year later, Lloyd established an Energy Action Committee to develop energy conservation plans in the wake of the 1972 Arab oil embargo. He and his administration also launched a $2.6 million road improvement program that would allow a total of 110 miles of city streets to be paved. I remember the mayor as being a, a very dynamic character. When he would come into a room, everybody would turn around and, and he would, he would uh, attract your attention. There was something about him. He was a bigger than life uh, character. He was uh, very uh, affable. He would come to you and shake your hand and, and, and really engage with you. You didn't feel like a stranger when, when Russell Lloyd Sr. was in the room. In 1975, the ribbon-cutting ceremonies were held to announce the start of the Raybacker Parkway on the west side, and Lloyd was re-elected by a margin of more than 7,000 votes. In the course of the following years, he endorsed a proposal for an elected school board, reduced unemployment within the city, plans were made to improve Mesker Park Zoo, and construction of Swander Ice Rink began. In 1977, Plans were announced for the 100-store Eastland Mall on South Green River Road. Arrangements were announced to develop Evansville's long vacant riverfront with a $60 million complex of office buildings, executive condominiums, and a hotel. Lloyd also made it clear to the Indiana State Highway Commission that the completion of Division Street improvements was the city's number one priority. He was a beloved mayor. He was twice elected a Republican twice elected in the city of Evansville, which had been a Democratic stronghold for years. So uh, his legacy will be one of, one of engagement. I think people remember, remember him as a guy who really got in there and worked hard for the city. Lloyd was 47 when he left office in January of 1980. Good evening, everyone. The city of Evansville is praying for the recovery of former Mayor Russell Lloyd. The 47-year-old Lloyd is still clinging to life tonight. His prognosis for recovery is said to be poor, but not hopeless. On the morning of Tuesday, March 18, 1980, an individual intrudes the Lloyd residence. Lloyd's wife, Jenna, overhears an argument from down the hall. Five minutes after being shot, Russell Lloyd was rushed to St. Mary's Hospital and was listed in critical condition. He was cared for by Dr. Noel Martin, who determined that his spinal cord had been severed. Oh, I mean, I just can't believe how it all happened, and it happened so quickly, and, and it made the life of a lot of people in this community just cry. What, what else can you do? Doctors determined Lloyd was shot four times, one bullet to the neck, jaw, right collarbone, and upper right arm. Mrs. Lloyd described the suspect as being in her early 20s. She said she had entered the home through the kitchen using the side door. She said the woman had been peeking through the windows at the front of the Lloyd home. After the shooting, 
the woman was seen with a 38 caliber weapon driving a blue pickup truck that matched the description of the vehicle that had fled the scene. The same truck had been parked outside of the neighbor's home. The search for Julie Van Orden was initiated after police learned that her family had been engaged in a dispute with city officials. An hour later, after taking witness testimonies, police arrested Julie Van Orden at her home at 2425 South Norman Avenue. By 2.30, a search warrant was executed for a camper and two other vehicles parked at Van Orden's address, as well as the property surrounding the suspect's home. We had a news commentator filming everything that we were doing, and he uh, was walking ahead of us, and he was in the area where we were going to move next, and he kicked a rock over, and there the gun was in the ground. She stuck it in the ground with the barrel in the ground. And that's how we recovered the weapon. We put the case file together, and that's, she was convicted of it. By 6 p.m., Dr. Eugene Austin, Chief of Staff at St. Mary's, reports that Lloyd has returned to intensive care with a prognosis of poor but not hopeless condition. He said that the next 24 hours were critical. An announcement was made stating, there is no hope for recovery. Russell G. Lloyd died Friday, March 21st, at 3.07 p.m. Julie Van Orden, who was arrested less than an hour after Lloyd was shot, could now be facing murder charges. At the trial, attorneys stated that Julie Van Orden was too mentally ill to understand her actions. She was found guilty of murder and sentenced to 40 years in prison. The funeral service for Lloyd was conducted at St. Benedict Catholic Church on Monday, March 24th. Nearly 1,500 family, political associates, and friends gathered in mourning. The Lloyd family stayed quiet and concealed and honored their fallen father and husband. A downpour could be heard outside. The priests opened the stained glass windows, letting in the fresh air and the sound of the rain that began as family, close friends, and the casket bearing Lloyd's body arrived from the funeral home. There were many notable people who came to pay their respects to a close friend and former mayor. The honorary pallbearers included U.S. Senator Richard Luger, Governor Otis R. Bowen, 8th District Representative Joel Deckard, Lieutenant Governor Robert Orr, and Mayor Michael Vandeveer. Proceeding after the funeral, a 100-vehicle motorcade made its way to St. Joseph Cemetery, where Lloyd was buried in sight of family and close friends. Our hearts go out to them in this time of sorrow. Russell Lloyd was Evansville's 29th mayor. His concern for Evansville, his leadership, and marvelous wit will be painfully absent from our midst. Uh, I can't, I mean, I don't even like to think about it, but it, we lost a great man. Since Lloyd's death in 1980, his legacy lives on, being etched into the everyday lives of the citizens of Evansville. Today, the Division Street Improvement Project is now known as Lloyd Expressway, stretching across Evansville from the east to the west side. As we continue to advance into the 21st century, Mayor Lloyd's lasting impact on Evansville, Indiana, continues to shape the way Evansville progresses in its function and growth. <laughs>